Hey guys, Coach Lewis here with Upper Iowa University and Figure It Out Baseball. This video we're going to go over today is called Levels of Learning. I think very often in the game of baseball, people jump too quickly ahead, right? If we can't do something live, we think let's just go back and practice that in the exact same environment, the exact same way. Okay? One of the things we want our guys to do is understand what development stage we're at. We learn to walk, then we learn to kind of run a little bit, then we learn to sprint. We want our guys to do the same thing in baseball. Level one type stuff. Do it off of a tee, a stationary ball. Maybe it's more mechanical. Okay. Level two, we're going to start to put the ball into motion. Level three, now we're going to be a little bit more competition-like, full speed. The same thing applies to defense, right? Maybe it's just glove work. It's mechanical. But it's just about teaching. There's nothing else outside of that. Level two, once we've done that, we can get into level two. We can start to get the, the baseball moving a little bit. Level three would be a full speed ground ball, fly ball, however it applies. Again, we have to understand how to get on the bike before we can ride it. That would be level one. Level two, we got the training wheels on. Level three, we take them off and here we go. Remember, your kids are going to fail. We're all going to fail. There's going to be those challenges, right? We're going to crash the bike. We're going to fall down, but we learn to get back up development in stages don't put the cart before the horse so on the offensive side right maybe we have a mechanical issue maybe there's something we need to work on we're going to put the baseball on the tee we're going to work at stage one development and we just want to start to get a feel right because one of the things i want you to think about as a concept is if i can't do this at 20 percent how am i going to do this at 100 percent right how am i going to ride a bike full speed if i don't even know how to get on the bike so we want our guys to feel those things out Along with that, there's going to be some failure, right? Players, you don't need feedback every swing. Coaches, don't give feedback every swing. Let them figure it out on their own, just kind of like we do when we learn to walk. So allow them to get the mechanical pieces in there, figure some things out. If you feel like the progression is there, then we can move on to ball in flight. Because again, we want to develop motor programs, right? So that when we get into competition, our guys aren't thinking about level one type stuff. They, they are absolutely ready to go. So again, put things into stages, work on the mechanics, then we get into ball and flight, then we get into competition. When you're on the tee, right, pick a number, feel whatever you're comfortable, depending on the mechanical fix that you have. Maybe it's 10%, maybe you're swinging at 10%, maybe it's something else and you can be at 50%. But whatever it is, get a starting point and then kind of work up from there. And if you get to say 60%, 70% and things go wrong, be willing to go back, hey, 30%, 40%. It's kind of a build up, right? And then it's kind of a, a, a fall back and we just continually work that. I'm a big believer, not very many people can do things at 100% and expect great results right away. It's hard enough to do full speed in the game, so give yourself some leeway. Make sure when you're on the tee and you're working at these fixes. Fixes take a lot of time. Baseball is an extremely hard game, and if everybody could get it right the first day, we'd all be in the big leagues. If you're in season and you're working on something at level one, you should probably cap that thing somewhere between 15 to 25 swings. If you start to feel tired and you feel like you're no longer controlling your body, then make sure that you stop. One of the biggest things you see at this day and age, right, is everybody wants instant gratification right now. Coach, I did it 10 swings and I'm ready to go tomorrow. That's not the way that it works. Things can take times. It may take weeks. It may take months. That's okay. Stay with the process. Be willing to go back and get level one before we go on to level two. So again, make sure we start right. Level one is going to be very basic. Keep the ball on the tee. We're working on something. As we get that and we feel comfortable, maybe 50%, um, we can do that. Then we're going to come up into short toss, right? Get ball in motion. Then if we have that, then maybe it's a little bit more overhand BP. When we're doing the short toss, maybe we need to be specific. Hey, we're going to go down and away or up and in, right? We can, we can still kind of target what we need. When we get into level three or a little bit higher, then we're going full speed. That's when things are going to go. Guys, don't forget, a Hall of Famer is successful 30% of the time. Practice needs to match that to a degree. You're not going to be perfect in practice doing things that don't challenge you or working at things, right? This is the part of the process that matters. If you take care of the process, the outcome will most likely take care of itself. Coach Lewis, Upper Iowa Baseball. Don't forget to check out my next video, Pitching Machine Setup.